morning. I'm Fleet Street Vintage. Um, today, it's nine o'clock. We're about to go head to the post office and drop off some Depop orders, but essentially, spring break just started and I'm going on a road trip and I'll be thrifting along the way. So I just wanted to take you guys along with me and try something new. So let's head to the post office. I'm about to head out right now, so I thought I'd show you guys the fit. 1980s denim jacket, flannel lined. 1995 Jerry Garcia liquid blue tee. This vintage fur hat, Y2K Brooklyn Express black denim, and the Converse. I wanted to talk a little bit about that shirt on a side note because it means a lot to me. I went to Euphoria Market this January and that shirt was in uh, Searching for Threads. I'll put his Instagram right here. Searching for Threads, a uh, little $10 pile. And my friend Bryce actually pulled it, who's part of Fleet Street. Uh, and he gave it to me and I gave him a couple pieces, but shout out Bryce. Um, but a, uh, that piece means a lot to me. Uh, I offered it to my grandma because my grandma was a really big fan of Jerry Garcia. And I remember listening to Grateful Dead with her and just a bunch of memories there. So um, I offered her that shirt and she doesn't really wear t-shirts, so she actually let me keep it. But that shirt will never be for sale. It means a lot to me. And it's kind of just why I like this whole vintage thing so much. Like the clothes just have a lot of personal meaning to me. and. I find them really cool. During COVID, I would just sit there for hours and kind of look up the tags and look up all these different graphics for bands and watch um, Jacob Starr and Paul Cantu. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me and why I'm kind of in this thing and uh, a little bit about that shirt. So, all right, back to the video. It was a busier day than expected, so our first and last stop is gonna be this Goodwill. First find is this vintage Carhartt denim button down in USA. Well, by my mom, so shout out my mom. I couldn't film anymore at the store because they told me to stop recording, but I got a couple other things and I'll show you those right now. So first, the thing you saw already is this vintage Carhartt Made in USA work shirt in this nice blue colorway. My mom actually put this one up for me, like I said. Next thing are these Y2K and nice jeans. I think I subbed that wrong, but they're nice and baggy. They have some cool details like this random little button here. And then right next to that were these Y2K Rockaware jeans with some cool buckles and nice back embroidery. These are also pretty baggy. Both of these were 36, so I think they were donated by the same person. And then you have the other Carhartt shirt. This one is in more of a beige colorway. It's again, made in the USA. So thank you to my mom. The next thing is this Made in USA LL Bean fleece. I've never seen this tag before. It's a women's medium, but honestly, it fit me pretty nice. So I might be keeping this one. And the last thing is this, I'm not gonna say this out loud because it sounds like a bad word, but it's this 100% wool sweater. I've had pretty good luck in the past picking these up and selling them. So hopefully I sell that one. I realized while editing, I didn't really get to show you guys what I put back because I found a lot in there and I didn't get all of it. So I'm gonna try to do better at that as I continue to thrift. Our next stop is gonna be this Goodwill up here. The Goodwill was pretty bad, so I recorded some footage, but I don't think it's very interesting. So I'll just kind of show you guys in a haul style what I got, it was just three things. The first thing I got is this pair of Adidas Snap sweatpants. These have sold very well for me in the past on my Depop, even though they're newer. The next thing I got is this Cut and Sew Made in USA Jansport t-shirt. I thought it was pretty cool. It's double stitch, but I don't know. I just like the design on it. And then I'm a sucker for vintage L.L. Bean and Eddie Bauer and all those outdoor brands. So I got this Made in USA L.L. Bean. Um, it's more of just like an outdoor shirt. I'm not too sure. It's just a button up, but I don't know. Pretty nice. I also picked up two things from the Artcade. I'll put his Instagram on the screen. But first is this Y2K Thrasher shirt. And it's also an independent truck shirt. It has this really cool clock graphic on the back. And the second thing I got was just this peanut shirt. It's the next day and we're headed to the bins right now. It's a little bit later, so I don't know exactly what we're gonna find, but let's go ahead and go inside. I just found a couple of things. These tailor-made corduroys, this Y2K D-Max black denim with the cool purple embroidery, these billabong shorts, and this vintage Pendleton made in USA maxi skirt. Kind of looks like a kilt. We stopped in another thrift store. I thought this was funny though. Just two pickups, this Townscraft vintage cable knit sweater 
and the just what I'm assuming is true vintage catch assuming is these true vintage Sears pants so those are pretty cool I'm leaving this st. John's Bay made in USA like mock neck I ended up not picking up the town craft sweater just because I wanted something that wasn't acrylic and possibly a little more vintage but I wanted to show off two pieces that I got from the homie Gus he gave me this made in England Cambridge uh, polo rugby which is pretty cool and then also these 90s orange tab Levi's 550s so shout out Gus Hopped into another thrift store only found three pieces this vintage made in USA Russell vintage made in USA champion vintage made in USA Woolrich snap fleece the next place we're gonna be stopping at is diversity thrift started digging through these bins and I found a couple things this long sleeve Pittsburgh Steelers these blanket lined army navy jeans this 90s polo shirt and the only thing i'm definitely picking up is this arcadia nature tea on the fruit of the loom tag here's a piece i'm gonna leave fruit of the loom tag crab shell single stitch it's kind of cool but nothing special the last find is this y2k russell athletic clemson hoodie while I was in the checkout, uh, there was a putback rack, and so I snagged this off the putback rack. It's a 1999 uh, York River State Park shirt with like this cool graphic. I've never seen anything like that before on the Earth Creations tag made in USA. Our last stop for the trip is this Goodwill. The store was pretty picked through, but I got a couple of things. This vintage crew neck, this vintage Warwick pattern sweater, vintage Pendleton wool flannel, in these 90s Lee jorts. Didn't record this last pickup, but it's this Made in USA vintage floral patterned vest. That's gonna be it for this trip and this video. If you watched this far, thank you for kind of bearing with me. I'm still trying to like get used to the camera and get used to learning everything. So I hope you continue to watch and help support the channel. But um, let me know in the comments anything you'd want me to do. If you want me to kind of show off the clothes more maybe, or I don't know, I'm just trying to figure everything out so let me know in the comments what you want to see from me and uh thank you for watching oh, woman is running.